6, from the verses 1. In the year the king Uzzah died, I saw the Lord seated upon the throne, high and lifted up in his train, lifted in the temple. Above stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, two covered his face, with his covered his feet. Cried to another and said, Holy, holy is the Lord of the host. The whole earth is filled with his glory. And the post of the door moved, and the house was filled with smoke. Then he said, I owe is me, for I am unclean, done because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of the people of the unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then they filled one of the seraphims, having lived in the call of his hand, which he had taken with his tongue from off the altar, and he laid it upon the mouth, and he said, Lo, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is taken away, and your sins proud. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who is going to go for us? Then he said, Here I am. Send me. Jina rabwana ribari kiwe. Yeye ni muema anastahili. Dio mungu wakaweze kukutumia. Kuna mambo ambazo anayajgalia katika maisha ya madadamu. Na not just a person, a believer. And jambo moja ambayo mungu huwa anangalia katika maisha ya madadamu. Adia akaweze kumtumia. You must have encounter with God. The time Moses was in the king palace. Wakati alikuwa kwa farao, he wasted a lot of time in the palace, in the, king, in the king's house, about 40 years. Now, he had a call of God. But when you are in the convert zone, God will never use you. Because katika nyumba ya mfalme, kuna raha nyingi, na hata kuna kustarehe kwingi. And God will never use a man, akiwa katika a comfort zone. And the moment that Moses... Akiwa analinda kondo za baba yake Jethro, akiwa in the wilderness. Because most of the time we meet God in the wilderness is where we encounter God. And the time Moses saw the burning bush is the time Moses started encountering God. And from that day he was sent. But when he was in the king's palace, mungu haja mtumia. So he encountered God in the wilderness. And from that day, Moses was not the same again. And that's why my word is coming from the book of Isaiah. The king, when the king died, you know where is there is a king, there is a comfort zone. And when Isaiah is a prophet of God, and he's among the major prophets of God, and he was used by God. And even he was given prophecy about the last days, what will happen from chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter number 3, chapter number 4, chapter number 5, up to chapter number 6. He had not encountered God, and he did not have any experience about God, but he was having a prophecy. The same case, it's happening to us here in the church, or in the church of today. Siku ya leo, kama vida tuko fasting days, mungu anaeza tumia chochote. Na kitu mutu anaeza tumika. Kama vida tuko ibada kama hii. As we are in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Na as we in the days of fasting, tunaweza kuwa na mtu. Tukingia rohoni kabisa tupenye. Mungu anaweza tumia mtu kutoa unabi. Lakini si kuwa ati he has encountered God ama mungu anamtumia. Ni kwa sababu ya surrounding ambayo imetuzunguka ni surrounding ya maombi na mungu anaeza tumia chochote. Lakini mimi si deal na thii kitu inaeza kuja gafra ambayo ilikuwa na soul. When God used him to give a prophecy. Mbaka manabi wadio kuwa wamezunguka wakasema what is happening to the son of Kish that he can give a prophecy. Ako katika miongoni mwa manabi. Anatoa, ili washangaza kwa sababu, he was not called as a prophet, but he was in the class of a king. But now he's giving a prophecy. That's what is happening in the church today. Today we prophesy and tomorrow is finished. I am talking about when you're being given an office of prophecy. That's how you encounter God. Ni kitu umekalia. Si kitu imekuja alafu inaondoka. And that's what happened to Isaiah. He was given a prophecy. But he had not encountered God. Kwa maana kuna vitu zirimzuia katika maisha yake. To experience. Oma to have an encounter with God. 
And the Bible tells me very well, the day the king, the year, the king died, that the day Isaiah saw the Lord. Alimuana Boana. And before he had not seen the Lord and he was prophesying. But that day he saw the Lord. When the king died, he encountered God. And that day is when Isaiah saw the Lord. And the Bible tells me very clearly, after he saw the Lord, there were seraphines. And in his mind, when you encounter God, and that's why Isaiah yeye mwenyewe akasema I have been living in the midst of people na wa midomo michafu na pia akasema my mouth lips zangu sio safi si Mungu alimwambia his lips were not clean but when he encountered God he realized for so long kinywa chake hata kama kilikuwa kinatabiri kilikuwa katika hali ya uchafu and he experienced god and he encountered god so for god to use you you must have an encounter with god ndio akaweze kukutumia kama chombo chake because god is not about your comfort zone hangari your qualities that you have that can qualify you to be used by god he is about how you encountered yourself with God dio akaweze kukutumia mtu ambaye Mungu haja encounter with him you cannot be used by God kwa maana utakuwa na midomo michafu your lips will not be clean the surrounding ambayo imekuzunguka haitaweza kukufanya wewe Mungu akakutumie kwa sababu utakuwa katika the comfort zone ambayo itazuia Mungu kukutumia God lazima ukue katika hali ambayo sio sawa hali ambayo inakufinya hali ya wilderness dio akaweze kuintervene katika maisha yako akaweze kuibadilisha akaweze kukutumia kama chombo chake na mahala popote utaenda utaweza kutumika kama chombo cha dhamana haleluya praise the name of the living god and i believe from today as this message go across everybody i know from today we are going to change our ways and we have to encounter ourselves with god the visitation of god when it is come it changes everything when peter was with jesus at the boat he encountered jesus and the moment he told Jesus niondoke kwa sababu mimi sio msafi na ustahili kuniongeresha si Yesu alimwambia ni mchafu but when he encountered God alijihisi yeye hafai kuongea na Yesu because when you encounter God you identify your weaknesses and you start making them and from that day Peter was not the same again hata Yesu akienda alimwachia kanisa and that why he was called the rock kwa maana alibadilishwa alikuwa kitu kingine kwa maana the visitation of god encounter with god it change your entire life and when you are used by god you don't turn back but you focus forward like what he did in paul the same when he encountered god in damascus his life was never the same again he was a killer he killed so many people but the moment he encountered god in the road of damascus that the day his life and change and he was a good man and alisimamia ufalme wa Mungu. Ninamshukuru Bwana kwa sababu yeye ni mwema. Number two, your availability. Tunahitaji Mungu angalie how how mambo zile uko nazo ama the qualities that you have ama kisimamo chako how the beauty ama the level of your dedication is about the availability na ndio wakati Isaiah alipoguzwa katika kinywa chake na kaa kwa maana his mouth ilikuwa chafu na alikuwa amezungukwa na watu wachafu na Mungu hajamtumia but the moment his mouth was touched by an angel a seraphim that time his life completely change na ndio akasikia sauti ikuuliza ni nani tutakaye mtuma he said i am ready to go before he could have not said ataweza kwenda but the moment he was touched with a call in his mouth ndio alisema nitaweza kwenda and for so long he was a prophet of god but that moment when he was available ndio akasema nitaenda that's the day god used him in a mighty way there are so many chapters that you can understand and the voice of the lord said and he was there with the lord and because he was available before god uses somebody he must be available to be used by god and that's why even in the book of samuel when he was calling samuel he called him three times and 
Later on is when Eli realized that this is a voice of God talking. And someone said to the Lord, here I am. Send me. Use me. Tell me what you want to tell me. And that's what God is looking for. Available vessel. Diyo kaeze kuitumia. Mungu waezi tumia a vessel that is not available. Anaangalia a vessel ambayo anaeza kuitumia. Inaeza tumika. Mungu hata tafuta the vessel is all happy. Ni lazima kuwe na vessel that is already ready to be used by God. Iyo ndivyo inaitajika tuwe tumeujiweka tayari. Diyo mungu wakaweze kukutumia. Even, for, even Jesus himself is a good example. He keep on saying, I am about in my father's business. And his work was the will to do the will of the father. So he was available to be used by God till the time of his death. Alijitowa kwa sababu. He was available for his father to accomplish for us to be seen today. A true availability means drawing ourselves into following God's will. A true availability means to throw ourselves, ni kujitoa, and following the God's will. Once we follow the God's will, the availability, that is a true availability. If you ndivyo mungu ataweza kupatana na sisi. God is not looking for a qualified, he's looking for availability. Availability yako, diyo itafanya mungu aweze kukutumia. Availability is a cornerstone of miles that God is looking so that he can use somebody. Our availability is what makes everything possible. Availability is about readiness. How ready are you for God to use you? You must be ready for God to use you. You must be ready. That means it's a process. You must be available means it's a process of doing something to achieve. So you are doing something to achieve to be used by God. So it is about your availability. Itakayo fanya wewe mungu wa kutumie. Nikaandika jabo lingine. Availability means to be suitable and ready for use. Availability to God is a process that one must discover his purpose. So the purpose that you are called by God to do. Kwa sababu sisi zote hatufanani. Kila mtu alitua na njia yake. And the process that you are called to accomplish. The purpose of you as a person. That you are called by God to accomplish that purpose. In the house of God. Because in the house of God kuna kazi nyingi. And the purpose that you are called to fulfill that purpose. Ni lazima uyu identify the purpose and the reason that you were born again and you are in the house of God, ukaweze kuchukua na fasi hiyo ukaweze kutumika. Diyo mungu akaweze kupata na nafasi ya kukutumia kama chombo chake. Hallelujah! Rabo shekere bonono. Tunamshukuru buwana yeye ni moema. So your availability is going to make God use you. Vile uko tayari. Your readiness is what God is all about. And in corner number three, ni grace. Grace is very important to us. And it's, we always say it is by grace that we are living. Na wakati ya kuna neema ya boana, hatutaweza kutumika. Inaitaji the grace of God for us to be used in the house of God or in the kingdom of God. Kuna itaji neema. And that's why every day we said we are living by the grace of God. And this grace, for somebody to be used in the kingdom of God, you cannot just go as a natural man. You cannot just go as an ordinary man. Unahitajika kuwa na neema ya boana, tiyo ukaweze kutumika katika kazi yake. And grace is the only one that makes God to choose us. Only grace. Unaweza kuwa na mabo mingi. Na unaweza kuwa qualified katika level ile uko. Ata unaweza kuwa qualified katika kalia yako. But when the grace of God is not working upon your life, you cannot do anything. It just need the grace of God. Kuna watu ambayo hawajasoma, lakini when the grace of God come upon them, they can do wonders. Because the spirit of the grace of God it is upon those people. That's why we need the grace and we understand the grace. Until you understand the grace, we will not be able to appreciate God. The moment you understand the grace is the time you appreciate God and you start becoming serious in the work of God and start making yourself ready to be used by God and you will not take the grace of God in vain. So when you start taking the grace of God, it's a serious matter or it's a serious thing. That's a moment 
you start being used by God. And that's what God is looking for. Not taking the grace of God just for granted. So from today, start taking the grace of God, not just any other thing. You start taking it in a uzito. Dio mungu akaweze kukutumia. Dio mungu akaweze kuingiria katika maisha yako. Aka kutumia kama hicho kitu chadamana. When you lose the grace, you lose the ground. The moment you lose the grace of God, you lose the ground and you know the ground is raised by the foundation. So when you lose the grace, there is no foundation for you to be able to stand. Kwa sababu tayari hakuna grace. Na ndiyo unaonanga watu wa kisema, sina grace ya kuhifanya kiyo kitu. But once God give you the grace, you are able to stand in the ground. The process of God making you, it is raised by the grace that the God has showered upon your life. And it is by grace we are able to live, we are able to minister, and we are able to do the work of God. Because the grace of God is sufficient in our life to be used. When the grace is not at work, Nothing can come easily and we cannot serve God. When the grace is not at work, when the grace of God is not at work, we cannot be, we cannot be used by God. We cannot serve. We've been called to serve. We've been called in the kingdom of God to do the work of God. But once the grace is not working in our life, we can do nothing because we need the grace for our lives to go on. To enjoy the grace in the people is to celebrate grace. So if we want God to use us in a mighty way, we have to celebrate the grace that, has, that God has put in the lives of many people. Kwa maana, kila mtu ako na grace yake. Tumeitua na mtu na grace yake. And the grace ambayo imeputua, imewekwa ndani yetu sisi kama watu walio koka. If we celebrate that grace ambayo yiko na mtu furani, na yeye ya sabreti yangu. So when we lift up the grace ambazo ziko na watu, tayari tutakuwa chombo cha dhamana. Ambacho mungu ataweza kutumia. So take the grace of the other person and celebrate it so that we can move this work of God to another level because grace is sufficient in our life. Never take the grace of God in vain. When you lose the grace, you carry the disgrace. So I am speaking to you. Don't lose the grace of God because when you lose the grace of God, you will be a disgrace in the kingdom of God and you will not be used by God you will not have any value in the kingdom of God you will not appreciate God he will not use you salvation will be a burden to you working for God it will be a burden to you but when you hold on to the grace and you raise your standard in the grace that the moment God will lift you another level because of the grace that is within you and the disgrace will never come in your life. So today I am speaking to somebody and now you know when you enc encounter God today, when you are available for God today and when the grace of God is sufficient in your life, you never resign the same again and the work of God will go on. Niliandika about the grace and nikasema grace ikiwa imepangwa chini hivyo nikasema G stand for God, R stand for riches, A stand for art, C stand for Christ, E stand for expense. God riches at Christ's expense. God riches at God at God riches at Christ's expense. If you have your in itajika, so when you have the grace, you are rich at Christ's expense. Na hivyo ndivyo inaitajika katika maisha yetu. Ndiyo tukaweze kwenenda na njia inayo fang. Na ndiyo ukaweze kusimama vizuri. Ndiyo take the grace of God just for granted. There are enemies of grace. And number one is sin. That is in the book of Romans chapter number six, one. That says, what shall we say then? And the grace may be bound. So, if you take the, the grace of God just in vain, because you are in sin, because God will never use anybody who is in sin. 
So we have to put sin away out of our ways. Dio Mungu akaweze kutumia. Mungu aweze tumia chombo chochote ambacho ni chafu. Inahitajika mtu ambaye ni msafi. Na ndio Isaiah anasema, I was living among the people of dirty mouth. Midomo yangu, lips zangu ni chafu. So the moment he realized mdomo wake ukachomwa na kaa, akaweze kuwa ametakazika. Dio Mungu akaweze kumtumia. Na ndivyo kulivyoyuliza ni nani atakayeenda? Alisimama I will go. Kwa maana tayari ametengenezwa. Uchafu umeondoka because God will never use a dirty vessel. A sinner. God is looking is about a righteous man. Dio kaweze kumtumia. So the grace of God will not come upon your life if you are a sinner. Utapokea disgrace. So let us stay holy so that God can use us and the grace of God will be sufficient in our life. Number two, pride. That is the book of Proverbs chapter number 16, 18. Pride. Ukiwa na kiburi Mungu hatakutumia because pride comes before a fall. So you are a failure. Anybody who has pride, Mungu haezi kumtumia. Roho wa kiburi ni lazima tumshushe katika maisha yetu. Dio Mungu akaweze kutubariki. Even the Bible said the Lord lifts those people ambayo wanajua kunyenyekea. It is by your humility that the God will lift you. Ataweza kukutumia. Mtu wote wa kibali haezi tumika na Mungu hataweza tumika na Mungu. God is all about how humble you are and how you have set yourself so that akaweze kukutumia. Hizo ndizo the enemies ambazo zinaweza ingilia maisha yako and the grace of God will not come about your life. Na wewe utakuwa disgrace katika maisha yako. Number three, the wrong location. Location ambayo wewe uko inaweza kukuzuia wewe mwenyewe Mungu kukutumia when Moses when they in the Pharaoh's house God could not use him because he was in the wrong position God waited him in the wilderness where was the right place for him to be ndio Mungu akaweze kumtumia number two, Isaiah when he was with the king Uzza he could not see the Lord But the moment King Uzza died, that the moment he encountered God and he is the moment that God started using him. So, the position that you are in today, it could hinder you from God using you as a vessel of God. So, look at your position ambayo uko. Could be the friends, could be the area of your job, could be the things that you are doing, could be the hidden things that you are doing that could hinder you from doing the work of God. Let you know the position that you are called to be. You could even fast. Dio kaweze kujua the place ambayo inastahili kuwa hata kanisani. Kuna watu ambayo hawastahili kuwa kwa asharin na wako wana suppose kuwa kwa kuongoza ibada. But they are in the wrong position. And in that wrong position itakuzuia the grace of God to work in you. Kuna watu wanafaa kuwa wahubiri na ze wamekaa chini. They want to be intercessors in that side. God will never you will never encounter God because you are in the wrong position. So today as the grace of God is working upon us as we start encountering God in our lives as we we start to be available to the kingdom of God ndio tukaweze kutumika katika machombo cha dhamana ni lazima tujijue ni lazima tujiorganize ni lazima tusimame katika nafasi tuliyoitiwa na kama haujui position yako it is a time to call the father he's our daddy he's our hope he's our joy who will direct you to the position that you are supposed to be so that you can be a noble vessel and not just an ordinary vessel you will be a vessel that God will use today you have to look back and see the area that you have failed that's why God is not using you but today as you think as you call yourself in a sacred praise and start thinking why I have not encountered God is it I have been not available it is not that maybe the grace of God is not upon me maybe I am in the wrong praise maybe the sin maybe the pride if we take all things all those things away I tell you we are going to do wonders in this nation of Kenya and outside of Kenya kwa maana Mungu ataweza kututumia kama chombo cha dhamana hatutakaa tu watu wa kawaida but the spirit of God and the power of God we start ministering unto us and I tell you the the rain will walk the death will hear the bride will see because 
We have started encountering God in our life. Is somebody hearing me in the church that we must encounter God? We must be available to do the work of God. Hallelujah. And the grace of God has to work with us. Because without the grace, we can do nothing. Hallelujah. 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 I worship the Lord because he's a faithful God. And I know with that literal teaching, kuna mahali And that was the word of God. And he told, go tell my children, I want to use them. But before I use them, they must encounter themselves with me. Number two, we must be available to do the work of God. Your availability is the one that will push you forward for God to use you. We never, God never goes for us. He look at the availability. The closeness we go to God, the way he uses. Don't take the grace of God just for in vain. Hallelujah. Nataka kusimame kwa sababu ninasikia. The spirit of God is in this place. And the anointing of God is flowing in this place. And today God is healing the people in the house. Hallelujah. We worship you Jesus. Tukaweze kusimama. Na kwa bodo bwana. You are the Lord. I worship you. How great is thy mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Bwana nini alilia tena na lako kama vile ulivyosema. Chombo cha dhamana kitakotumika ni chombo ambacho kita encounter you Lord. Chombo cha dhamana ni available vessel. Chombo cha dhamana bwana it is about your grace. Lord I worship you because you are the Lord. Nina kuinu wa bwana ewe mtakatifu wa Israeli. Nina ritukuza Jehovah jina lako. Lord we didn't know how you favored us Lord. You all needed the availability so that you can use us God. You all needed the grace that you have given us not to take it in vain so that you can use us. Father I worship your name. Father I give you praise. You are Rosa. Tukamuinulia buwana mikono. 